guys, it's Jessica from Crafting and Stampin.blogspot.com, and today I am using my Close to My Heart Cricut Artiste cartridge to make my project for the Under the Big Top Blog Hop. Um, I wanted to, I really thought about the circus from when I was little, and some of the things that I remember are the sights of the different, um, like the the elephants and the trapeze artists and I remember the smells. I remember some good smells and some bad smells and one of the good smells I remember were popcorn. I remember getting popcorn when I went to the circus with my mom and my dad so I decided I was going to make a little popcorn holder. So I pulled out my Artiste cartridge and I found a little coon holder right here um, and it's on page 42 of the Artiste cartridge and it did say to cut it at eight and a half and I did actually put it in at eight and a half to cut it. And then I wanted to cut out some balloons also and the balloons were on page 70. Um, so I cut out a few balloons and then I cut out tickets that say admit one and I'm going to be honest with you I don't think they were from this cartridge I'm not sure where I got them from to be completely honest with you but I also cut out a ticket that says admit one so I wanted to go ahead and get started I'm using some canary or no I'm not yes I am I'm sorry I'm using some canary paper some lagoon paper and some hollyhock paper and I'm also using the designer paper from the Confetti Wishes um, paper pack that's from the new idea book and catalog. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with putting together um, all my stuff. So let's do the balloons first. Now they cut out a little, um, like I would call it like the reflection part. Um, so it's cut out and all I did was actually just get a piece of scrap white and I'm just going to glue it right behind it and then I'll just trim off um, the excess that's left. I'm using my Bonding Memories glue pen from Close to My Heart, which I've grown super fond of lately. Um, oops. Uh, yeah, see how cute it looks? Well, we'll trim that part off, but it just looks super cute. So let's just go ahead and keep doing this. Now this is a blog hop that's starting at Connie Can Crop. So if you're catching this from my blog, I'm right at the end. Uh, you're going to go to Crazy About Cricket, which is... Oh, wait. No, actually, I think I am the last part of this hop. Um, I'll put my blog address below, and you'll see um, the blog order. So you can follow anybody, or you can see if, if I am last or not. I apologize. This morning I had Jenny... Um, after me, but then I think they said that we changed it because Jenny was up. Jenny said that she she already had herself in the lineup. She got overzealous and put herself in twice. <laughs> um, so let's see here. Let's cut these little white pieces off. I'm using my. Um, Microtip scissors from close to my heart, which are like way sharp, so just always be careful. Hold them away from, make sure you're, they're away from your fingers, the tips. Um, so now what I did was I cut out, like I said, a ticket, and I, for the life of me, cannot figure out where I found this. I don't think it's on Artiste. I'm quite confused, to be honest with you. Um, but anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and get this all glued Get glue on all of it. There we go. I just got it to line up. How cute is that? Okay. Go ahead, get more of the Bonding Memories glue onto the back of this. Perfect. How cute does that look? 
I'm not even going to distress it at all because it just looks absolutely adorable that way. Um, so we have our balloons. Now let's go ahead and get our cone together. Now what I think this is super easy to do. I think all we're going to do is roll it. Oop. I never actually put this together. I actually think Oh, how can I not get this? There we go. I wonder actually, I think it should go like this. and have it line up, but I don't think that's the way it's going to work. Why can I not get this? I think the paper needs to be. I, I'm just going to do what I didn't want to do. I'm going to just hold it for a second. Maybe what I would be able to do would be to line up two of them. I don't think... I think I'd, I'm making more out of this than I really need to, I think is what I'm doing, to be honest with you. Um, so we're going to just do it the way I was thinking I should do it. I'm going to say that this side, because it's got the flat end... It's going to be the side that I'm going to. Oh my gosh. Turn into itself. I just didn't want to mess it up. I feel like I did do that. There we go. Say I did. I made more out of it than I really needed to. Goofball. There we go. So we got our little cone. I don't know why I had to overthink that so much. What's wrong with me? Okay. Now, I do like the blue inside, but I, I don't know. To me, I just feel like red scream circus. So I actually want to, I was hoping I had some napkin downstairs, but I don't. So what I want to do is, I want to cut some of this. Put our cone to the side. I want to have the lining. This is li really like scrap paper. I didn't put any other paper in. And I just figured what I could do is like make like a furrow cone out of it. And then just kind of pop it in there. I just thought it would be cute to like have some extra color coming out of it. There we go. I just, like I said, I just thought that would be fun. Just have some extra color. But it doesn't want to work out for me. And you know why? Because it needs to be angled. Now let's try. There we go. Now we're talking. Oh, we were talking. There we go. Like I said, I just wanted a little bit of 
like red to show. I don't know why. I just feel like red scream circus, but whatever. I'm spending way too much time on that. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get um, our little balloons popped on. Um, my gosh, my craft room table is a mess. And I'm going to use some of the twine. Oh, gosh, I bit my ticket. Um, our um, sparkle twine that we have. And I'm going to make the balloons <clears throat> kind of pop up with it. So let's do admit one. Mm, do I like that there? I think I do. I had to take that out for a second. Yes, I'm going to put one more, pop that, one more piece of foam behind this, so that way it stays down. Okay, so this is how we're looking so far. Now let's get our twine, and we will have the little ribbon, um, there we go, uh, um, have um balloon string hanging down. We'll do some, uh, I guess we'll do some, hmm, I suppose we can do, maybe some of this color. should have done first. Um, whoops. What I'm going to do is just knot it. And I got to lift up one of my balloons. Whoopsie. Where's my Twitter? Come on. There we go. Okay. And then, I actually really wish, as silly as it sounds, that I could just like iron my strings. But, um, oh look, perfect. Thanks for falling off there, balloon. Um, Okay, there's my little popcorn holder. How cute is that? I really like that. And like I said, I'm going to keep messing with this because I want this red showing. I don't know why I just have red in my mind. It's just got to get in there. It's got to look right. Wish I had a napkin. But that's okay. We'll get it in. We'll get it to work. But for now, that is my project. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope I wasn't too crazy um, <laughs> on here. But um, thank you so much for watching. And I hope you enjoyed the blog hop. So I hope to catch you crafting and stamping. Bye.